A sunny day on the Thames and I'm heading out on a journey. From London's historical financial centre in the city towards the newer district of Canary Wharf. Along the river, modern buildings are home to lots of London bankers. During the financial crisis, many lost their jobs and their homes. Now real estate developers are taking advantage of the recovery to build more flats and offices in and around Canary Wharf. It's only 15 minutes by riverboat, just three miles east of the city. But JP Morgan is one bank making the trip, recently acquiring offices here. When you look around, there's just more space than in the city. But that's not enough to make it the most popular spot. Last year, rents in the city rose 20% to £55 a square foot. While in Canary Wharf, they only increased by 7% and are still much lower. So companies would rather pay a premium to be in the heart of London. I would suggest that the city is likely to outstrip Canary Wharf. The city is probably, you know, as would be our preferred location. Um, Canary Wharf doesn't, hasn't really genuinely had that many occupational um, transactions take place. But some say that preference for London's historical financial district will soon start to fade. No, it certainly won't last. We're expecting rental growth in the city of London to moderate and to accelerate in Canary Wharf and as a result we're expecting the rental differential to narrow over time. Buildings that are much more efficient, you've got very large buildings offering quite large floor plates which are very attractive and at the moment you would argue that the city is lacking those buildings. Now if banks keep hiring, space will become scarce across the city. Bobby Trowbridge, Bloomberg, London.